Allah says in the Holy Quran, God made the Kaaba, the sacred house, an asylum of security for men, as also the sacred months, the animals for offerings, and the garlands that mark them, that you may know that God has knowledge of what is in the heavens and on earth, and that God is well acquainted with all things. Allah says in the Holy Quran, Remember, we made the house a place of assembly for men and a place of safety, and take you the station of Abraham as a place of prayer. And we convenated with Abraham and Ismail that they should sanctify my house for those who can pass it round or use it as retreat, or bow, or prostrate themselves in prayer. Kaaba, the holiest shrine of Islam, is the most loved by God and revered by Muslims. To its direction they stand in their prayers five times a day. From afar, Muslims set their hearts on visiting it. And around Kaaba, crowds of worshippers are always there in devotion day or night, from time immemorial and until God inherits the earth. The Kaaba has been a holy shrine even before the revelation of Islam that kings and nobles have vied to cloak it in the best and most beautiful ornamental clothing throughout times ancient and contemporary. God commanded Abraham and Ismail to build Kaaba, after which they and their posterity look after it. The custodianship of Kaaba was passed down later to the tribes of Jurhum and Khuza'a, respectively. Arab chronicles say that Tuba al-Jurhami, or the Jurhum king, was the first to clothe Kaaba. The tradition was followed suit by Arab nobility throughout the pre-Islamic period. When the custodianship of Kaaba was passed down to the tribe of Quraysh, it was clothed single-handed by Qusay bin Kilab, the fourth ancestor of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But later on, Quraysh as a whole community shared in that honor. When Islam gained control over Mecca and spread across the Arabian Peninsula, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, clothed Kaaba with the prized Yemeni fabrics of that time. The Orthodox Caliphs followed in his footsteps. Throughout the history, Caliphs and Sultans competed among themselves to clothe Kaaba and set up endowments to finance the manufacturing of the cloth and shipping it to Mecca. For instance, nine villages in Egypt were dedicated as endowment for that purpose. Thus for many years, Kaaba cloth was made and shipped from Egypt until it was suspended in 1345 Hijriyat. So late King Abdulaziz decided in 1346, 1926, to set up in Mecca a factory for the making of Kaaba Kiswa and recruited the most skilled craftsmen available. In that same year, Kaaba was draped by the first cloth made in the new factory. But in 1357 after Hijra, the Egyptian government intimated its wish to resume shipping Kaaba Kiswa, prompting the closure of the factory in the kingdom. Yet again, the shipping of Kiswa was suspended by Egypt in 1382 after Hijra. Then late King Faisal ibn Abdul Aziz decided to modernize the disused factory and set it on operation. From that time on, the covering of Kaaba has been made in a special factory in the holy city of Mecca. During the reign of late King Khalid ibn Abdul Aziz, a new factory for the making of Keswa was installed in 1397 in Umm al-Jud at the holy city of Mecca. The factory was equipped with an advanced technology to achieve quality production of fabrics befitting the clothing of God's house. A new breed of skilled operators and craftsmen 
were also recruited. During the reign of the custodian of the two holy mosques, late King Fahd ibn Abdul Aziz, the Grand Mosque in Mecca and the Prophet's Mosque in Medina received his personal dedication and care. In 1414 after Hijra, King Fahd ordered the upgrading and rehabilitation of the factory in order to elevate its product to the highest possible quality and refinement. The factory had to produce a unique artifact that could combine the precision of modern technology with the Islamic creativity of craftsmanship. The kingdom's development continues in full swing in the current reign of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah ibn Abdul Aziz, who matches his predecessors in giving utmost care and concern for the two holiest mosques of Islam. Likewise, the Kaaba Kiswa factory is being continually modernized with the introduction of the most sophisticated technology. The factory premises covers 100,000 cubic meters and have a workforce of more than 200 Saudi workmen. A quick tour of the factory's divisions will show the intricate process of making the Kaaba Kiswa step by step. The Kiswa or covering of Kaaba is made of natural silk of which 670 kilograms are used to drape the entire Kaaba. The Kiswa fabric is lined on the back side by white thick cotton. On the front side of the covering calligraphic writings are woven using black threads. Their writings read, There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Allah be praised for his glory. Allah be praised for his greatness. And, O oh, compassionate, O oh, benefactor. The Kaaba Kiswa has a belt around it running 47 meters in length and 95 centimeters in width. The belt is made of 16 pieces joined end to end. On Kaaba, the belt rises 9 meters above the ground surface. On the belt verses from the Quran are embroidered by gilded silver wire threads. The door of Kaaba is draped with a curtain that is exceedingly breathtaking. On it are embroidered in an embossed calligraphic style some verses from the Holy Quran and a dedication that says, This Kiswa is made in the holy city of Mecca and gifted to the Kaaba by the custodian of the two holy mosques. May Allah accept his offering. The curtain is seven meters and a half in length and three meters and thirty centimeters in width. Furthermore, under the Kiswa belt, there are several brocaded pieces including six containing verses from Quran, a dedication piece, twelve lamp-shaped calligraphic pieces, and four rectangular pieces all distributed around the Kaaba. Altogether, they form a sublime work of inspirational art. But how is the Kaaba Kiswa manufactured to such an excellent work of art of beauty? The making of Kiswa goes through several processing stages that are performed by over 200 Saudi craftsmen and technicians with the support of the factory's administration staff. The factory has been under the supervision of the General Presidency for Haram Mosque and the Prophet's Mosque Affairs since 1414 after Hijra. As for the manufacturing of Kiswa, the factory has several divisions enhancing this pioneering piece of artwork. Dyeing is the first of long and exacting processes of making the Kiswa at the factory. The General Presidency imports natural silk of the world's highest quality. It comes in hanks, which threads are covered by natural gum, giving the silk a pale yellowish color. Each hank weighs about 100 grams 
and has a length of up to 3,000 meters and height of up to 67 centimeters. Dyeing is done by two ultra-modern machines. They are made of stainless steel and can withstand rust and resist any corrosive effects of acids and hot concentrated alkaline. Each machine can hold 20 kilograms and operate with four automated handles. Tanks are heated by steam which is injected into the machine through winding pipes at its bottom. From the machine, steam is sent to a condenser for reuse again. In the first stage, the gum is removed using special substances in hot tanks where temperature can go as high as 95 degrees centigrade. Then the hanks are rinsed several times until the white color of natural silk reappears. Next, the dyeing stage, which is done in vessels, which are heated progressively for each time period. For 10 minutes, temperature is kept at 30 degrees and then gradually raised 1 degree per minute until it reaches 90 degrees. The hanks are then rinsed in hot and cold containers in order to remove any impurities. Next, the silk hanks are dried in a special machine. This equipment was introduced in 1410. Before that date, dyeing was entirely done manually. The advantages of using this equipment are that they retain the thread tensile strength and the uniformity of coloring as artistically desired. Compliance with specification standards is a first priority at the Kaaba Kisma factory and for that purpose a well-equipped laboratory was set up to do that testing. The lab tests the tensile strength of the thread and its resistance to different external factors. The Kiswa covering of Kaaba is exposed to changing weather conditions during its one-year lifespan before being replaced by a new one. One important task of the lab is to prepare the color mix and specific ratios. It is then tried on small samples of threads in order to select the best one. The choice of color mix ratio is given to the dyeing division to implement it. Other tests are also run by the lab such as determining color fastness, stability of color after washing and the strength of threads. Later on, after the fabric is produced, random samples are taken to the laboratory for testing and ensuring their compliance with such set specifications as fabric width and its resistance to friction, washing and other weather conditions prevailing in the holy city of Mecca. The laboratory conducts several researches on dye stuffs to determine the best ones and on chemicals that are used for making the fabric stronger and more resistant to washing and dirt. The lab has been sourced from the world's most reputable manufacturers in this scientific field. Once the silk is dyed, it is transferred to the weaving division, which is fully automated. Two kinds of fabrics are produced for the Kaaba covering, one with designs containing verses from the Holy Quran, and the other one is plain on which embroidery works are done later. At the beginning, the dyed hanks are transferred to special reels, which are fitted to the wrap machine, because each one must have a certain number of hanks for the required meter length to be produced.
Once the wrapping process is completed, the warp threads are taken to the loom and the desired length and number. The woof threads are grouped together, six of them in one cord on cones that are taken to weaving machine. The automated weaving machines at the factory are operated by well-trained Saudis who are keen to keep abreast of any technology development for the improvement of productivity and quality in this industry. Having introduced mechanical weaving, the factory has not done away with manual weaving. This artistic craft we are proud of and which is appreciated by it art connoisseurs. And so at the Kaaba Kiswa factory, the manual weaving division is still there operating in concert with the interior garment division to produce fabrics of black and green colors and intricate designs. The embroidered Quranic verses on the Kaaba covering are produced in the Thuluth Arabic calligraphy, which is the best and most attractive Arabic style. The handwriting was done by the Saudi calligrapher, the late Sheikh Abdul Rahim Amin. Next to them, there are more ornamental patterns. The accomplishment of this embroidery and other artful works require immense experience, talent and precision, and involve considerable time to produce. For the printing operation, two long blocks of hardwood are laid in parallel at a distance from each other on a bench. To their sides are fastened two kinds of fabrics. One is plain for the lining, and the other one, top of it, is a black silk with some designs. On this black silk, the Kiswa built, curtain and other pieces of embroidery works are produced. Printing is done by the silk screen method. In a four-side wooden frame, an artificial silk fabric is fastened inside. The fabric is porous through which fluids can pass through. It is given a photosensitive emulsion. Then the design desired for printing is copied on a transparent plastic board of dark color. Thus a film negative is produced. This film is photographed and transferred on a silk screen and printed. The silk screen represents a printing mold from which the design can be copied many times to the desired fabric. The printing is done using special inks that are prepared in the division. The inks are pushed through the pores of the silk screen, producing the required designs with utmost precision. One of the most visible features of the Kaaba Kiswa is the embroidery works that involve using gilded silver wire threads. It is a manual operation performed by Saudi craftsmen of high skill and artistic taste. They are works of art which combine precision with visual beauty executed in such designs and Arabic calligraphic patterns. On a long bench, the embroidery works on the fabric are begun by hand stitching on printed lines and design patterns using Y threads for different count of stitches. When the stage is completed, the embroidered surface is of the same level of fabric. On the first outline embroidery, more stitching is done using yellow cotton threads for the parts that will be embroidered later using golden wire threads and with white cotton threads for the parts that will be embroidered by silver wire threads. Stitching is carried out on all opposite directions. The result of this operation produces an imposed design of calligraphic pattern. On this base, 
Further stitching is carried out using silver wires or gilded silver wires. At the end, the final embroidered designs and calligraphic patterns look embossed, rising 1 to 2.5 centimeters above the fabric surface. Once all the pieces of Kiswa are produced through the several stages we have seen, the time has come to assemble the Kiswa pieces in one whole. The Kiswa is produced in several large pieces, each running 14 meters in length and 101 centimeters in width. Here, each of the four sides is sewn separately according to the length of each side. When pieces are sewn together, extra care is paid to keep the designs on them intact and continuous. Next, the kiswa is lined with cotton material pieces that have the same length and width of the kiswa. The joining is done by an automated sewing machine that has a working bench extending 16 meters. It thus could be considered the biggest sewing machine in the world. It is automatically controlled and specially provided with two laser equipment that can determine the correct placing of materials during the process. The sewing machine can join the Kiswa fabric with the lining at the same time by sewing a cotton strap that runs along their length behind them. The lining and strap give the Kiswa an indent strength while being hung on Kaaba. On the top side of the kiswa rope rings or knots are sewn to the fabric. The embroidered belt and the other designs underneath it are fastened from each side of them to the kiswa fabric by other automated sewing machines. Besides applying stringent procedures for quality assurance in every production phase, a final quality check is performed by a special committee at the factory before donning the Kaaba with the new Kiswa. The committee makes sure that all embroidered pieces are fitted in their correct places and that the measurements of Kiswa as a whole and in pieces are accurate as intended. On the first day of Dhul Hijjah every year, a ceremony is held for the handing over of the new Kiswa to the senior custodian of the Haram Mosque by the General President for the Haram Mosque and Prophet Mosque Affairs. He also turns over a pouch for the safekeeping of Kaaba Key. On one side of the pouch is embroidered the Quranic verse God command you to render back your trusts to those whom they are due. And on the other side, made by the order of the custodian of the two holy mosques. Just after the dawn of the ninth day of the Hijjah, or the standing day on Arafat, the new Kiswa is taken to the holy Makkah Haram Mosque to be installed on Kaaba. On that day, specialist craftsmen are lifted by an electric crane to the roof of the Kaaba where the Kiswa side pieces are sewn together. Each side of the Kiswa is lifted and rolled to the Kaaba roof where it is firmly fastened and pushed down to open on the side of the Kaaba. After all sides of Kaaba are clothed, the corners of the adjoining sides are sewn together. Finally, the Kaaba door curtain is installed. With the new Kiswa completely installed, the Kaaba looks spiritually enchanting. On 4th of Rabi'a Thani, 1403, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia presented the Kaaba door curtain as a gift to the United Nations headquarters on behalf of the Islamic world. It was a symbolic gesture confirming the universality of Islam and its message to mankind. The gift was presented in a special ceremony patronized by the United Nations Secretary General, 
the kingdom's ambassador to the United States, the kingdom's permanent representative at the United Nation, and an official of the Kaaba Kiswa factory. نالت الكعبة المشرفة على مر الأيام والعصور والتاريخ. In all ages, in fact throughout history, Kaaba has been loved and revered like no other place of worship or spiritual institution in the world. Sovereigns, kings and sultans have vied for the honor of serving and clothing it. But only in this Saudi reign, it has been specially provided with a Kiswa factory for clothing it, which was set up in the holy city of Mecca. The government of the custodian of the two holy mosques has spared no funds, time or effort for development of its production of Kiswa. And for that reason, the factory's production processes have been changed from craft-based activity to a mechanical, one using state-of-the-art technology. The factory welcomes large numbers of visiting dignitaries, crowds of pilgrims and many male and female university students, as well as pupils coming from all over the kingdom. Huh? 